understanding that if you give Jesus your body, he takes it off of you and then you take up his yoke. But his yoke is light because grace has been provided for the journey. You see, my friend, the reason why it almost seems like you get tired, why it seems like you are weary, why it seems like you are sad is because you are trying to achieve it by yourself. You've arranged your goals, the yearly goals. I will do so so and so so courses. I will save so so and so so money. You know, and all of all those things. And they are not bad things in themselves. But even the goals that you have, have you submitted them to Jesus? You see, in this kingdom, scripture tells us, by flesh shall no man prevail. If you plan to prevail by flesh, it will not work. It won't. I just hear the Spirit of the Lord calling you back to rest. Calling you back to rest. You have left him. At some point, you were born in for him. At some point, you were born in for him. He was all you desired at some point. But now you're a big boy. He has blessed you small. And then the devil has put a lot of things in front of you that you no longer desire God. But it's in desiring him that you are strengthened for the journey. It's in fellowship with God that you energize to achieve anything that God has placed in front of you. Some of us, I think in 2023, I asked God, I said, God, put your mercy on my notes today. I said, how do I walk for you without losing my walk with you? But some of us, we are doing God's work. We are preaching. You know, you are being excellent at your job. You're taking care of people, paying big money in church, paying tithes, but you've forgotten your first love. Jesus wants you, not your tithes. It's you that Jesus wants. Jesus wants you, my friend. He wants you. So before we go today, we will just ask the Lord, Jesus, help me to never forsake you. The songwriter says, always keep me at my post, Jesus. Help me to love you the way I loved you when I first met you. Scripture says, remember your first love. It's the Hebrew, that's the revelation. The Hebrew says, tells us that we should remember how we were when we, when we first met. Christ, when we first came into the faith, how some of us are ready to die for the gospel. We're ready to die in his presence. We desired him. We desired the milk of his word. We wanted to, feel, we wanted to hear his word from his mouth. His presence was our biggest desire. To do his will was our meat. Some of us could not eat at some point. We just wanted to be with God. But Jesus wants that with you. He still wants that with you. So check yourself. Even me, I will check myself. Have you left God somewhere? Is God now one of all those routine things that you just to tick box? I've read my Bible today. What happened to those days when you desired Him? When when you were in, you were, you were walking, you were thinking about Him, you were conversing with Him. What happened to those days? Is Jesus a thing of the past? A relationship with Jesus a thing of the past? My friend, is your relationship with Jesus a thing of the past? Jesus, I desire you. The Bible says, even if you slay me, I desire you. Jesus, I desire you. Do not let the challenges, the current challenges around you, make you prevent you from meeting your lover. Because all of all these things are passing away. They are fleeting. Remember when our biggest problem was Wyek? If I can just pass Wyek. 
today now we have bigger problem. Maybe it's bills they are taking. If I can just pay my house rent, if I can just buy my car, if I can just do my wedding. It never ends. The needs of man are insatiable. Economics t- tells us it doesn't end. But a relationship with Jesus guarantees you all of all these things, or far, far more than that. To know the Maker. Scripture says, "This is eternal life, that you may know the one true God." That you may know Jesus. I'm not here to preach. I'm here today, like you, looking for Jesus, telling Jesus to help me. Jesus, help me. Let the blessings that you've given me not distract me from the one who gave me the blessings. Let the challenges around me do not distract me. From the one who says he will never leave me nor forsake me. Things are hard, things are hard, things are hard. Every day you wake up, you eat, you eat three square meals. Things are hard, things are hard, things are hard. Even the day you don't eat, Jesus is present with you. That's far, far greater than gold. Scripture says that his words are far precious than gold and sweeter than honey. In the honey's comb, that's when you just bring it out. And it's called me. From the comb directly, sweeter, unrefined. And in keeping them, the salmon is greatly rewarded. When have you read your Bible? Or do you wait till Thursday? Or you wait, or should be wait the Bible study before you read the Bible? Or do you even read it religiously just to mark? Or you really want to know God? When we started reading the Bible, I think three years ago. Oh yes, when we started, when Colossus we started, when we started, I remember when we started reading the Bible in Colossus. We were hungry for the word of God. It was not about whether we mark it or not mark it. We just wanted to know God. I don't know if you can remember. We just wanted to know God. We do not, we're not concerned about we wanted to know God. And it cannot change now. Because even now, the strength of your kingship is founded on the strength of your priesthood. You cannot execute the will of God without having a relationship with God. You need to be energized in His presence. You need to walk according to His instructions. Scripture says, discerning the will of God. Scripture says, do not be unwise. But discerning the will of God, it means that wisdom is knowing what God is saying now about every particular matter. Oh God, help us. Help us. Help us. There's too many, there are too many distractions. Too many distractions. Some of us, it's other people, not even it's other people's calling that we're looking at. For us to focus on our own things is difficult. Like on Instagram, taking how your secondary school friend, how the secondary school friend did, or how your university school friend is doing. Galatians tells us six, I think verse four. It tells us. If you focus on the things that God has put in your hand, you have no time to look at other people's things. There are too many things God is telling you to do for you to be taking people's things. You have, you don't have that. You don't. You don't have to do what is popular. Do what God has told you. Forget what is popular. Honor people. Enjoy people's giftings. But do what God has told you. Don't let social media distract you. People that are doing that one, people that they, the people that they are putting their things on social media are doing their own calling. If you are going to be checking them how they are doing their call, you do your own now. Nah. Do what God has told you. Be at your post. You don't look at other people's posts. Be at where God has told you. Commit yourself. Invest yourself. loves you my friend Jesus loves you I want to tell you something even by the spirits today that the coming darkness requires radicality and that radicality can only be better 
from intimacy. If you do not know Jesus, if you do not prioritize intimacy and relationship and fellowship with God, I'm sorry, it will be difficult for you. I'm telling you the truth. What is required? required you need to love your life. Scripture says, loving their life, not unto death. You cannot get there. That is dying to self. You can't get there if you don't fellowship with God. You can't get there. The scripture says where your treasure, where your heart. Treasure is so will your heart be. If God is not a priority, God cannot be in your heart. There are too many things to say. But even more than that, I think we should just the opportunity to cry to Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We are weak. We are distracted. I don't know about you. I'm weak and distracted. Jesus, I need your mercy to help me. For the journey ahead is too far. I can't go by myself. I need your mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Please pray. Jesus, have mercy on us. Help us even in these times. To stay in your presence, to hear your word and move on your instructions. Help us to cut off distractions. Oh, Jesus, help us. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name.